I think we're good to go. Hey guys, it's Tara and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while since I last posted a video on here and I'm really excited to be doing a new one. So the last video that I posted on here was a lovely live version of Man of Colors performed by Michael Pena and Ivor on the Oba, which was absolutely beautiful and I thought, I have to film the whole thing and so I did and it's on here for you guys. It has now had over 600 views which is amazing so I really want to thank every single one of you for watching the video because that's amazing. As well as my by the sea Wollongong sort of video where I showed you some footage from the gig and my experience from it. I really hope that they do more performances in Sydney next year. It would be great. My fingers are crossed as everybody else's are. So hopefully there are more. So for today's video, I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing the Flowers Ice House Special Edition White Vinyl for Oz Music. As we know, November is not only one month closer to Christmas, but here in Australia, it is Oz Music Month. It celebrates Australian music from then to now, which is awesome. So this is my little review. And I don't think I've ever, ever in my entire YouTube channel history have I ever done an unboxing. There was one video, which I think was my Ice House Mayhem video from a few years ago. I just took the vinyl out. I didn't actually un box it or anything. Um, I didn't open it. So I guess this counts as the first time ever that I'm unboxing something for you guys and putting here on YouTube. So this is going to be exciting and I hope you guys enjoy it. So let's get to the unboxing video. Let's go! Okay, so my package just arrived this morning and it's pretty big. So the reason why I have a post note over my address is because, you know, personal information, you don't want anyone to um, know your address. Um, but once this was released, um, it only took about three or so days to come from um, Victoria. So this is from JB Hi-Fi, um, which is where I bought it from. And yeah, I am really excited to unbox it. So here we go. You can see how patient I am with the um, the knife. I also have to be very careful with it because, you know, I don't want to um, cut any of the, uh, the vinyl, like the cover or anything inside it because you never know. Even though it's got bubble wrap, still, it's better to be safe than sorry. Okay, so now to just turn it around and I think it's open, so... Here it is. I'm about to take it out of the box. And there it is. The Flowers Special Edition White Vinyl for Oz Music. Guys, so it's time for me to show you and do a little review on the Flowers Ice House Special Edition White Vinyl. So let's get to it. This is 39 years later, which is amazing. And I can't believe next year this particular album is going to turn 40. The big 4-0. The first album released as Flowers, and then a year later they changed the name to Ice House. Everyone knows that. So I won't get to that fact. <laughs> so first I'm going to show the front and back cover. So here's the front cover. It's very pretty. This artwork was, of course, done by the drummer of Flowers, John Lloyd. So it's really cool. And then it goes out to here. All the band, with all the band, I mean, and everyone who worked on the album. And instead of it saying regular records, of course, it says Diva and Universal Music. I was only 13 when I heard the entire album and 13 or 14 and when I heard this album, oh my god, I loved it so much. I instantly picked it as like one of my favourites. As you guys know, Great Southern Land is my favourite Ice House song of all time, yes? Great. Well, if I had to pick a second favourite song, it's really hard to choose, but my favourite track 
from this album is definitely the title track. Absolutely beautiful. All the tracks are awesome, but this one has such classic Australian rock, like pub rock kind of songs. Songs like Fat Man, songs like Skin, Boulevard, which is a great one. Not My Kind is a great one, Nothing to Do. You know, just such, such incredible songs. And then of course you've got We Can Get Together and Sister and Wars and Can't Help Myself, all included in the greatest hits albums for Ice House. So, goes without saying, great, great songs, great hits. But inside cover, the gatefold, with all four of the members, which is awesome. So we've got, I'm looking in the mirror here, so we've got Keith and Anthony, and then we've got John and Ivor. So I love this inside cover so much, it's awesome. Now to gently, gently open the inside. This is the disc, by the way, so. I'm gonna be very careful with it and I'll be right back. Okay, we've got it. We've got the disc. As you can see, it kind of reflects on the camera because I am filming right near my window. So all the sunlight is coming through and it's directing on my face. It's lighting right on my face and it's lighting right on vinyl and stuff like that. So it makes it even prettier in my honest opinion. So we've got the first side. It's got Ice House, We Can Get Together, Fat Man, Sister and Walls. Which is awesome. Another opportunity. And then we've got side two, which has got Can't Help Myself, great song. Skin, Suns, Boulevard, nothing to do and not my kind. So fantastic, fantastic album, fantastic edition. I love it so much. It's beautiful. It's kind of similar to the 2012 Man of Colors colored reissues. So it's not transparent like the 1987 ones, um, which I've got in my collection. Which of course I've got in my collection, uh, in my, I suppose I call it vinyl tub because the blue vinyl tub has tons of vinyl in it. Goes without saying. This is really beautiful. And I've never seen Ice House release white vinyl as such. Only colored and of course clear, which is the Hey Little Girl one from Chrysalis Records. Before I pop this away, I'm going to, well, I love it so much. I give this a massive, massive five star and I recommend it to everybody. Now to facts and questions. So facts and questions. Facts about this album. Well, this album turns 40 in October next year, so, which is amazing. Fact number two, the album has sold hundreds of thousands of copies and according to Ice House's post, it has sold more than five times platinum, which is amazing. The album peaked at number four on the Australian charts and it stayed in the charts for 45 weeks, which is incredible for such incredible album. So that's my little facts and on to questions. So for all of you international fans, does this sell internationally? Yes. I've just checked on the Q and A uh, and the help and support section of JB Hi-Fi. I typed in international, then I clicked on which countries will my item sell to? All music items will be shipped overseas, which is fantastic and they should arrive in about a month or so it does take a little bit of time to get from, from here to there but it's all part of it but it's definitely worth it this one will ship over six so you will be able to get one Saturday I've checked and they're already out of stock so I'm not sure when they will bring theirs back but keep checking from time to time Speaking of which, for those of you who are interested in buying it or you're thinking of buying it, then click on the link down below and it'll take you straight there. So I'm going to do a little comparison 
um, from the original album to the white edition. Special edition. White. So this one, the text and the fonts and the logos and everything are blue. But on this one, all the text and everything, right way, no, wrong way, this way, all the text on the newer ones, as well as the 2017 reissued one uh, is purple. So that's quite interesting. The newer editions are more smooth. Um, this one has a lot of texture and I guess it has a lot of, you know, difference in color and everything and quality, but that obviously has to do with the fact that, you know, this is a very old album. This is almost 40 years old, so of course, the older ones are going to be, I guess, more aged. <laughs> okay, so that's it for this video um, about the Flowers Ice House White Special Edition. Um, this is amazing. I love it heaps. And again, I would give this a five star. Um, let's do a little comparison again. Thumbnail. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Um, I know it's been a while since I've posted, of course. Um, I've been busy with you know, my own personal life and everything like that. So, and there hasn't been really much for me to film, but since there's this new um, addition to mine, of course, everybody else's final collection, then I thought, yep. I'm making a video for it. <laughs> Once again, I hope you guys enjoyed this one and make sure that you like, comment and subscribe for more videos. And of course, if you have any more videos that you want to see, any particular videos, of course, let me know in the comments down below what you want to see next. And I shall see you in my next video. I think we're going to Australia. It is Oz Music Month. <laughs> and now for a the last video that I posted here on YouTube, not here on YouTube. The last so video that I posted on here was the Man of Colors before. The last video Man that I posted on here was Man of Colors. I have to film the whole thing. I have to film the whole thing. I have to film the video, which I think was my Ice House Mayhem from a couple of Mayhem, mayhem from a couple of years so, ago. So, other way, Tara. Awesome. Somebody at the door. Hang okay. on. That's all being said. Let's get that which I've got in my collection. Ow! I freaking whacked my head on the back of the chair. Bloody hell, I was going to say. Ah, oh, lost my words because that darn chair.